This time I'm custom white we're looking in the 60s truck! Again! Let's get to the white shop! Now! This time on Custom Works and we're still looking at those wheel covers, the wheel spats that are going to make this car look like it's literally hovering down the road, like it has no wheels. And what we're hoping for is something like this. So this is the rear wheel spat. This is this has all been made and moulded and this, this is sanded. This is pretty much ready for final bodywork now. Obviously there's always a few adjustments uh, and a bit of sanding, but this is what we want to make but on the front. So let's take a look at that. So then last week we did all of this and we got all this about right and I think we've solved this problem but now what I've got to do, cut these out and then I've got to look at the design of this wheel spat that's going to cover this front wheel. Now I've thought about this quite a lot but I've no real design in my mind so I'm going to be winging it a bit. Well first let's get these cut out, let's see how these two new air ducts look. So that's them cut out and uh, I've roughed all this up with the DA because I'm going to go on here with some filler now and you never want to be going over just raw fiberglass. This has been put on tidy so it's quite smooth so sometimes the, um, you know, the filler won't stick to that especially if it's been drying for a few days like this has. But it's all roughed up and ready for some filler so let's get some Bondo on there and make this seem like it's always been a part of the car. Just as a bit of a recap on the bizarre front end of this car. So, first up, this piece here that looks like it is the grill. This isn't the grill and it doesn't go anywhere. There's nothing behind this. This is going to have glass in it and the glass is going to run all the way around. Behind the glass, there's going to be crystals and lights. So there's going to be a lot of like diamond looking crystals. This will all be mirrored, it's gonna just look amazing, and that will light up like dun, 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 And that's how that's gonna be. So all glass here, so nowhere for air to get in. Moving on to this part, this part will also have crystals in it, it will have a piece of glass over it, and this will be mirrored inside. So also, this, no air is coming in anywhere, and in neither of these would there be a headlight because it would have to be the same both sides. That ain't happening. That's why we've got the pop-ups. But all of this, technically, 
I don't really want to say it, but it's just for show. But isn't that the body on every car is just for show? Because they could all just look the same and be a very boring world. But yeah, this is just for show. This will all light up. And yes, there is no way that air will get in. But with the new ducts around there, they are going to let the air in and they're going to keep this nice and cool. So then, while this filler is drying, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what is this wheel thing going to look like? Wheel thing, spat, I think they're called. We're definitely covering all of this. And I think I'm going to come up here. And I like that. And then it's just how I finish it. Now, I've always thought I'd bring this line back. And I think I probably will. Maybe in a, a sweep to come down to there. I don't know. But I want something to match this angle here. So as I come forward, uh, I could probably curve round there and down. And this line mirrors that line. Something along those lines. That's what I'm thinking. Once this fill is dry, though, what I'll be able to do, obviously I'll sand it. <laughs> but then I'll be able to actually draw on here and, you know, just see what I'm actually going to do. Anyway, let's get this into some kind of shape and then have a look how this wheel spot's going to go. that's going to need a bit more filling because what I need is I need this to be about the shape it's going to be when it's painted so pretty much body worked right up to that sort of 40 grit barrier before everything else goes on just to make sure so when this comes on and off this fits absolutely seamlessly with no gap I know this isn't here trust me it will be I'm going to give this another skin filler I'm going to get that long block on it and see if we can get this a little bit straighter. It's been a few days since I've been on the sixes truck and I'm just, I've got to just like get my bearings back. Now, we're looking at this front wheel spat and it's got a cover, obviously it's got to cover this wheel arch and it's just where it's going to come. And obviously it's not the same as the other side because the other side's got that Cyclops light coming into it. So, I'm thinking it's going to be like up here Slightly lower and tapering up, coming into here, and something going on down here. And it's that something that gets me. I don't know whether to follow these lines, not follow the lines. Obviously, this is sort of part of the bumper, so this will be in a different colour at the end of the project down below. So maybe I want to come into there. Essentially, I don't know. So what I do know is I want a line that runs up there and along there with a bit of forward rake, as everything's got a bit of forward rake, and then I think that's going to be the starting point, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So, to the table saw, rip down a strip of aluminium, get that bonded on there, and then start sort of feeling the way to it. Now, what I am doing here is I'm going to make the frame, and I'm going to put a flat piece of alley on there, I'm going to snow plow up to it and get that all right. And then I'm going to make the bit that fits inside of that. And after that, that's when I'll make the piece that trims around, goes over the snow plow and forms an actual trim over it. So when it goes on, it locates and just fits like a manufactured thing. So let's do all of those things right now. <laughs> To like the width that I want for the bottom of my snow plow and this is a depth I want for the the rebate I'm gonna form actually just here um, I made it a little bit bigger my wheel spat that fits in here won't actually be this wide but what I want it is that I've got room to uh, to pack it off so I get that 
nice perfect panel go. Also, I'm bringing this right forward. You're never going to see the wheel. And as we know, cars always look better with the wheel forward more. But on these taxis, the wheel is a little bit back. So by making the spat as forward as I can, it will give the illusion of the wheel being actually further forward than it is. So all of these little things make things look a lot better. <laughs> happy with that it's got a nice curve it's set way forward so we've got lots of room there it rises up slightly to there same as the other side not that that really matters but you know you've got to have some continuity um, it can't, can't be like a car on one side and then I don't know like a tractor on the other but yeah I'm thinking that's looking pretty good so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna glue this into position and then I'm gonna think how we're gonna get around the curve that goes that way so I think we're going to have to sort of pie cut the aluminium, but let's get this bit done first. That's on there then. Nice and, nice and strong with the old mitre fix. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut this bit off and then I'm going to back cut this so I can make this curve round and into here. another bit of aluminium and what I'm going to do well I'm just going to fiddle around with it somewhere here see what it looks like see how it goes I've no real plan I know I want a forward weight some nice curves I don't know. <laughs> but anyway I'm going to cut a bit off here and then just just mess about until it looks good <laughs> So I think this swoop following this curve and then going down, obviously it's not glued at the minute, I'll get this a lot better, it's going to look good but of course it's compound curve in this panel so what I'm going to have to do is from here forward I'm going to have to pie cut this just so it fits in with that curve so it curves in two ways and aluminium is really really good for that, you really get a, you know, a nice shape very easily. Okay, so that's all glued on, just with like mite effects. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go around and make a, a small fillet in here, 
uh, fiberglass, the fiberglass paste stuff. This is keyed well, this is keyed well, it should stick on, fantastic. Then when that's dry, I'm gonna sand this down a bit because I don't want this to be this equidistant sort of gap. I want it to come up and taper in. I want all this to be a bit lighter because um, this will essentially be a bit of trim. So I'm gonna make this, sand this down a little bit lighter, but first, most importantly, I'm gonna put that fiberglass around it just so that as I'm grinding it, it doesn't just pop off. Because at the minute, the alley would get hot, the glue would release and it just drop off as I'm grinding it. So let's get some fiberglass on there and then let's get some arty shape to this. And so we're at a section of the show that probably is never going to happen again that I'm going to call thinking out aloud. I have this and the 60s truck and at the minute I have some ideas, slightly controversial, some that are just going to think what were you thinking that looks grim but I'm going to, I'm going to let you into that, that thought process of basically me looking around the workshop seeing what I've got, what I've mismade on other projects, hello crows. Dr. Doolittle. Um, but I'm just going to show you so, some of the things I'm thinking of. So, first thing I'm thinking of, back of Dualatron, we have these lights. And now, when I made the lights, I was copying, I was copying an old Barris car called the Buddha Buggy, which was built around an Impala. And I thought you weren't copying; that, you were taking inspiration. I was taking that. I was taking inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just getting some original ideas from a book of Barris cars, yeah, inspiration. So I made it like this and I've never been happy. I wasn't happy with the original lights, these lights that someone else has put on, and no, we've already lost one. But I'm thinking, let's switch up the lighting on the back, switch up the style of the back. Now, I made these, and these are, these are the bullets um, from the mould, from the, the back of the 60s truck, those big bullets, the one that opens up and everything, and these are off that same mould. And I was thinking, now don't forget, this isn't trimmed, this is straight out of the mould, I've found it on the floor, I'm just offering it up, I'm just offering it up, I'm not going to actually do, I might do this, but I was thinking if this was chromed, which I can do, and we had two, out the back of the car, I'm thinking something like this would look good. Obviously this would be cut down quite a bit. I'm only offering it up. If I could probably even fit the lights in this, I could probably even cast an acrylic tip. So it was like a, you know, I could make the, the end of this actually flash. So hopefully as well we're gonna do some bumper work on this, bring the bumper around and then maybe change the rear wheel spat so it looks even less like there's a back wheel to the car. But those, it's like a massive caddy light. But if those were chrome, I don't know, maybe I won't do it. But you know what? It's not the only idea I've got. I've been thinking about something else as well. Oh yeah, let's go and have a look at the 60s truck. A while ago, I was on Wish and these are like, you know, massive spike wheel nuts, and they were, they were like £15 for 30 I thought I would buy that for 50p any day of the week. So I bought a load and just put them in the storeroom in case I needed them. And now I've been looking at these holes. Now don't, don't, don't forget, I might never do this. I might never do it. I'm just, you know, just some ideas. Anyway, I was thinking, that that mounted into there would look superb. Indeed, I think it absolutely does. If you want some nonsense about why it's there, well, it's, it's, it's splitting the air up to make the cooling more efficient. <laughs> nonsense. But yeah, I was thinking of mounting those there. Look, I've got two. You've actually got 30, you've just said. I've actually got 30, yeah. <laughs> I can't help myself. 
Yeah, slight rake, maybe the front one a little bit further than the one at the bottom. This might happen, this might not. Anyway, I've got to be somewhere, so I'm off on my horse. <laughs> Still <laughs> All of that is now dry and it is absolutely rock solid. And the next stage of this is going to be sanding this down, get a little bit slighter coming in here. It sticks out a bit too much at the, at the moment. And then um, snow plowing this into the panel until we've got the shape that we want. And then we can actually form the fiberglass over that and onto our removable panel that will cut out and fit in there. And then all of this just should slot together nice and easy. But that sadly is for another episode. Okay, so that's all we've got time for this week. Next week though, there's a lot of foam. A lot of very dry foam on Dualitron. Next week I'll be sculpting it and Re, not remaking, but definitely restyling the rear wings on Dualitron. And you know what, even if I say it myself, I've done one side, it's over there, I can see it, you can't. Looking absolutely awesome. So tune in next week for that. In the meantime, like, subscribe, bell end icon, all of that sort of stuff, thumbs up. Don't forget, check me out on Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge on NBC and on Peacock, or as the kids are calling it, The Cock. That's it, it's all over. I thank you very, very much. And good night.